the opening kick as we get underway on a chilly night here in Winston-Salem. That one's going to be fair catch and bring out to the 25-yard line. It was just 6 for 16 passing last week against FSU and had no effect as a runner. Felt a lot better this week. Tucker with the very first carry and opens it up. He shreds one tackler and got close to the 40-yard line. Syracuse coming in at 6 and 4, 3 and 3 in the conference. But at one point, they were perfect at 6 and 0. Oh. Tucker spun around. Nothing, nothing doing there. Jasheen Davis there to come up and say hello and a loss of two. Guy that, that really has made a lot of plays. Here he is there. And, you know, he's played more because of injuries. You see the quickness he played. And Tucker back into the backfield. Schrader back to throw. Good pocket protection. Airs that one out. And complete. And will pick up a first down. Got it to Gadsden. Aronde Gadsden. Look for him tonight. Here at Wake Forest tonight. Trying to pick up win number seven. Been tough coming. Schrader's going to rifle that one. And that's going to be a completed pass and close to the first down. These two teams played a great football game last year at Syracuse. Wake would win in overtime 40 to 37. This one rifled and another completion once again to his wide receiver. That's Gadsden. Now, they call him a tight end. Nobody else in the ACC does. That's a good point, Dave. Hard play action and Gadsden, who we haven't seen lined up with his hand on the ground yet. So you're right. He is playing wide receiver and Rifles that one short and complete and get inside the 10-yard line, but they're going to pick up the first there. How the defense is responding to it, and pretty good so far. Right to Tucker. Tucker's going to take off. Trying to cut back inside, looking for the corner. He dives, and he is in. An outstanding rush there for the touchdown. And a great drive, a nine-yard scamper there to get into the end zone. By Sean Tucker, three really good runs on this drive, capped off by the Wildcat in the backfield, and enough speed to the corner for six. That's a great start for the Syracuse offense, which, you know, a week ago got off to a terrible start. Boy, night and day from a week ago, and Schmidt is on for the point after to make it seven to nothing that they've tried to build here at Wake Forest. A great legacy indeed, Kelsey. I don't think you can underrate that at all. That's Ellison. Finds a nice opening for a first down as they drag him down finally, crossing the 40-yard line, a 16-yard gain. On third down, it's Ellison again, and he will pick up the first. Almost like wedge quarterback sneak blocking with the back following him. It's incredible. Quarterback on the keep. And Hartman with a nice gutsy carry for a first down. I mean, just does a good job of just remaining a passer, kind of unfazed by the, the static in the in the backfield. Well, not this time for Ellison. The Syracuse saw that one coming. No doubt about it. Ball comes out quickly once he makes a decision. Been scuffling with picks lately as he looks to throw and rifle that one in there and complete. And another first down and a very tough catch there by Morin. Syracuse likes that matchup. Hartman in the pocket. Now he's going to run it. Fires. Drops. Incomplete. It was Morin who could have walked into the end zone. This will be a 33-yard attempt now by Dennis, Matthew Dennis, on to try and get the Demon Deacons on the scoreboard here in the first, and that one is true. But it was a good start. We saw them early in the year, and, and they were rolling. The dome was loud, and... Yeah, I think they got everybody's attention. Now, let's see if they maybe got some of that momentum back after that first drive. Oh, Pena off to the races here to the 40 before he takes a pop and held on to the football, but a tremendous return. The punter actually in there on a hit. This is a well-blocked return, as you see Pena. A really good room to run. Another wildcat here. And it's Tucker trying to get to the edge outside, but dragged down around the 40-yard line. Third down 10 for Schrader. And a tough pass in traffic there, but got that one complete to Alford. Schrader on the move. 
Looking downfield, he's going to heave this one long as a man open. And Syracuse into the end zone and a touchdown to Marcus Adams. A flag is down. I think, you know, Georgia Tech making it tough on UNC right now. In fact, Georgia Tech up. Syracuse back up after the penalty. Here's Schrader on the run again. And Schrader taken down around the 45-yard line. And try to pin them back. Gets it up high. Warren coming on over. And that'll take a bounce for Syracuse and keep on rolling. Down inside the one-yard line. 44 yards. You know, playing the field position game. Get a favorable roll. And now, as you said, Dave, inside the one-yard line. Sift your way through there. It's just remarkable. They try the right side of that line to pick up the first down. You have success. Our guys still focusing on the details. I'm a good time in the pocket. Now leaves that pocket. Flips that one, and it's going to be a completed pass. But have been a very good defensive unit all season long. Hartman going over the middle. That's going to be incomplete. Off the hands of Williams on the drop. Now get the football back in the closing seconds of the quarter. He's going to throw long. Taking a shot. Has a wide receiver and a dive and a miss by Adams. So Morin back around the 40-yard line and a shank. As that one's going to go out of bounds. An ugly-looking punt there. Second down, 10. Good protection. And complete to Morin. Morin got to the 25-yard line at the end of the first. An 11-yard pickup there. You know, plays really well. Does, probably doesn't know when he'll play again. Gets the opportunity. He had the scare at the beginning of this year. So and With the blood clot, indeed. Warren goes up for the catch. Still on his feet. He's going to be slammed down. And that's going to bring a flag. Ellis in the back. Little play action. Hartman nowhere to go there. He's going to be dragged down by Justin Barron. And Justin Barron, and, you know, he makes a nice play here. Hartman stepping up in the pocket, throwing for the end zone. And in the corner, it is going to be broken up. Now they're going to say touchdown, touchdown. A.T. Perry. Isaiah Johnson trying to cover him. Waved that one off, but Perry's had a spectacular career. You know, not necessarily totally secured, so no different than if you juggle a ball on the sideline. Mm -hmm. Dennis on for the point after. And he will drill that. So Wake Forest with the touchdown. Dave was talking this week about, you know, we're six and four and everybody in town's disappointed. What does that tell you? That tells you Wake has really built this program. And on the scamper, walking outside. They definitely have changed the expectations under Dave Clawson. Schrader picked up the first down, a handoff here. It's Tucker bowling. Over a couple of people as he will pick up another one. That's a 12-yard game. You know, Brad Lambert compared him to Johnny Wilson from Florida State, who's right. clearly a wideout. Mm -hmm. Second down short. Schrader looking downfield. Long. And that's going to be caught. Syracuse inside the five-yard line. Yeah, and this is a, obviously a really well-thrown ball by Schrader. Accurate. And then good job of making a contact catch. Gavin Holmes is right there to try to rake at the football. Schrader right on the money with his wide receiver offered. Here's Tucker looking for an edge. Diving now and trying for that corner there. And he is in for the touchdown. Of, of Sean Tucker just bounces outside and then races the defense to the corner and I think that's a score. Reaches out the the ball in front of him, which you technically should not do down there because obviously you lose it. It ends up being a touchback, but. Yep. Andre Schmidt on for the point after. That's who's all time points leader. And he'll try to make it 14 to 10, and he's perfect. It's hard, to, you know, to, to kind of imagine that that went on at UVA this week. Second down short, they go to the air. Williams. To that left side will pick up a first down. 
the way that the, the conference, quite honestly, has, has tried to honor the lives that were lost last weekend. Hardman going long up top, and that one's going to be caught by Banks. I mentioned the matchup earlier. Six foot three Johnson, not a bad matchup against Banks, but Banks just does a better job of reacting to the football. Third down two. Evading that first tackler. Good job there by Turner, but eventually wrapped up. Hartman, who got down on the ground, he scooped it up, but that's going to be a stop for Syracuse, who was mishandled. Go under center in short yardage and goal line situations. Is the, is the, the center is trying to protect himself. He's also trying, and on something that should be routine, just quarterback center exchange. Schrader from the end zone. With time, heaves that one, and an outstanding catch right at the 50-yard line. Great grab by Adams, who's been a big target tonight. He's just running the post, keeps his speed up, gets leverage, and then keeps his angle as high as he can, and then good spot with the football. Here's Tucker, finding the edge outside across the 40, and scampering out. 6'4", 230, edge. got his body in the way. Little pitch here. Going to try some trickery. They've got a man down into the end zone, and Syracuse with a touchdown. Cooper with the catch. A strike from 33 yards, and it was LaQuint Allen with the heave into the end zone. That the orange offense looks totally different, and it's a little trickery to get it done. As Cooper catches the halfback pass in the end zone, Got a little dance afterwards as well. That's a nice job of, of running Tucker off the field. He clearly wasn't the thrower, and so Allen comes on to throw the touchdown pass. And Schmidt for the point after. This is a completely different looking Syracuse offense. Touchdown pass and has 10 100 yard receiving games in his career. Quinton Cooley getting the opportunity to run the football, and then will gain a first. 438 total yards per game. Harmon looking downfield. Now he's going to run it. He's heading for the sideline. And will scamper out a 19-yard rush for first down. Sometimes when people look at him and say, oh, you know, he doesn't have the biggest arm. He's not the biggest guy. You know, he's not a runner like Malik Cunningham or someone like that. Cooley again. Cooley bouncing. Tucked that helmet. Took a shot there by Isaiah Johnson. Typically leads to big plays for their receivers. Hardman looking, throwing long, and a touchdown once again. It's A.T. Perry in the end zone. 29 yards and a touchdown for Wake. What he's done his entire career. Just give these guys a chance. Once again, he's a terror. About five minutes to go here in the second. And the point is good. 21 to 17. I think some people have been curious about it. These coaches don't go speak at clinics and, and give ideas about you know, how they coach it. And because of that, it's really the only team we see doing it. Murphy with the low kick and going to be a big time return here for Syracuse. And I think he's, it's meant a lot to be alongside this journey with Sam Hartman. And I think. He appreciates his loyalty, his toughness, and everything he's gone through. Schrader with the strike. Got that one on the near sideline and an opportunity to get inside the 20-yard line. And they do. It's pain catch and run for 25. Yeah, basically a little screen. You see the receivers blocking on the perimeter. And then Pena, who's a good return man. I think somebody Syracuse has had high hopes for. Second down and six. Schrader. Looking toward that end zone, and now he's going to be taken out from behind at the 25-yard line. And no place to go. It's going to lose 12. A.J. Williams got him. Wake defense, you know, surprised them. Basically, you're going to have defensive ends dropping out. You have linebacker levels blitzing. It essentially amounts to a zone pressure. And I think Schrader thought that he was getting a man pressure and was going to have an answer. He didn't get stuck with the football. That's why Wake's able to come up. Wake Forest defensive coordinator Brad Lambert said that Trader is a lot faster than people think. On the pump fake, here they come again. Well, not fast enough as he goes down again. You're going to end up wrapping him around. He's going to come around here with the stunt coming this way. 
and he's just got enough speed and power as you see him kind of split that double team to get home and he's a guy that has really shown sure has Schmidt on now this will be a 52 yard field goal attempt and that one on the way and that one is going to be the turn here is going to run it back that's going to be Morin Morin still up and Morin's going to be taken down I think it's one of the reasons that you know, he'll surprise people in the NFL draft evaluation. Complete out to the 30. Whitehart, the tight end, took a pretty good pop, but he'll pick up a first down. Does a lot of things awfully well into the pocket here. And rifles that one to Banks. And complete stop by Isaiah Johnson with a 10-yard gain and a first down. In many ways, he's a classic Wake Forest player in the Clawson era. Just getting better and better as he develops in the program, which they do so well. The football comes loose there. That's going to be scooped up by Ellison. And Ellison moving it ahead by yeah. Gear. Take a look. Yeah, and I originally thought that this was a fumble, and down low it doesn't matter because they snapped the ball quickly. Got the playoff very fast and complete to the 40-yard line. 34 seconds to go before halftime. Hartman, free play here with a flag down. And he connects. Got that one free to Perry. On 21-17, less than half a minute. Hartman again, pressure on him. And got it free somehow to Ellison. Nice Ellison hit. dives into the 15-yard line. Sack obviously would have been kind of disastrous and just great awareness. And it's what an experienced quarterback does. Kind of knows where his outlet is. And In Charlotte, I think that's pretty evident. Hartman and complete. Got it to the near side to his tight end, Whitehart, for six. 120 touchdowns responsible for in his career. Looking for another one. And that's going to be complete in the end zone. Once again, it's Perry for the touchdown. The so he just keeps adding on. Both of them do in a great first half. His body to create space. And then Sam Hartman, once again, the catchable ball, Dave, in a spot where Perry can go up high. It's a nice drive at the end of the first half. You see Perry, pretty good leaping ability. And he's 6-5 to begin with, and the point is good. So at 12 seconds left before halftime, it's Wake in front. Hardman very crisp in the first half for sure. As mentioned, 20 out of 28. He's going to complete that pass right on the near sideline to A.T. Perry, his favorite man, who once again had a great half. Opening drive of the second half. Hartman climbing up. Still on the run and taken down after the first down gain by Marlo Wax. Feel like, hey, I'm past the line of scrimmage. I got to take off and run. Wants to throw again right over the center. And that one complete to Williams, who spins after picking up 11. You know, now you're throwing one on ones, which all quarterbacks like. You love that one on one. Steps up again, trying to break free, but he can't. Taken down at the 45. Okachupu with the sack and a five-yard loss. Since 2019, Wake Forest has played 46 games, and 21 of them, they've scored 40 points or more. On that pace again tonight, Hartman's pass. That's going to be broken up by SU and tipped by Wax again. Has had a really nice night. So Murphy to get that one away and a fair catch. At the 15-yard line by Pena. He's maybe part of the reason that we're seeing gloves on his throwing hand. Tucker will move outside. They will string him out, and out he goes. Been able to run the ball as well. The snap comes free and scooped up by Allen. That was in the Wildcat, which we've used a couple of times tonight. And a busted play. One of the fears you have when you have, you know, a non-quarterback in the backfield, he was getting ready to bring Tucker in motion. And as he does that, the ball snapped. Well, Quinn Allen's not expecting the football. In fact, he's trying to bring a motion because they're going to either hand it to Tucker. So Schrader looking to put it in the air. And now he's going to use the legs. Keeps on rumbling before two men take him down. You got to have him in your pocket. Finally get that punt away after the penalty. Morin will look for the fair catch at the 30. 
Third down one. Trying to get that first, and they are going to do it on a carry by Turner. You get off schedule, you know, the unforced errors, that those will kill you. Hardman airs it out over the middle. It's Morn again with a reception. And got across for a first down. He'll gain 11 yards. Once again, Wake Forest wasting little time. Low snap, picks it up. Throws again and incomplete. And there are flags everywhere on that chuck. I think he's done a great job because I think he's undermanned, just to be frank about it. There's, they play with such a small front. Hardman looking for the end zone and the catch. A big battle for that touchdown. Touchdown, Williams. A 17-yard touchdown strike. Raving about his quickness. Well, how about the ability to find the football and then just show great strength at the moment of truth, catching the ball with your hands. And then once again, it's Sam Hardman throwing a catchable ball. Point after here by Matthew Dennis. So that is four touchdown passes already tonight for Sam Hartman. And continuing to add to his total, 100 coming into the night. Now we'll see what Schrader and Sean Tucker can conjure up here on the play action. Quarterback will complete that pass. And a well-thrown pass to Ganston, the tight end. Schrader on the move, and down he goes as he got rid of the football. As he was being taken down by Chalen Garns, the strong safety. I mean, it's just basically, here comes Garns. He's going to wrap around. And so it's you know, kind of a slant by the guys up front. And then Garns is going to end up, excuse me, the, the slant came from the other side. And then he ends mm -hmm. up getting there. and Should be grounding. Standing at his 35. And up to meet it. Didn't get very far, but good field position. A little bit different shake to him. Morin on the reception and up for a first down. You know, they really haven't really had that type of player here, but Williams looks like he could be. Hardman to throw. Not this time as he is dragged down. Okuchukwu and Lowry teaming up. Third down, 14 for the Demon Deacons. Hartman on the move. Oh, Morn with a really nice catch. Rose up very high for that, and it had something on it. Quinton Cooley, the running back. He'll take it. Had a little bit of an opening there before it closed up, but enough for first down. And I'm good aggressive call. Under half a minute, Hartman to move. To his right, flings it on the run, but that's going to be out of bounds. And it's Perry to make the catch. Cooley again, plenty there. And a first down and first and goal. They want him again. Straight on, and he's into the end zone for a touchdown. Cooley emerging as a big, big weapon in the game from four yards and six more for Wake Forest. We talk a lot about it. They're going to pull the guard. He's going to pull up here, and then they're going to end up working to the second level. And by doing that, you're just going to end up basically having a hat in the hat. And, you know, and Cooley, you know, hits it downhill. Pretty impressive. Dennis for the point after. That's good. Very competitive first half. They trail by just three at the break. Schrader over the top. It's going to be intercepted. That's going to be picked off by Wake Forest. Brendan Harris. Harris taking it in. Touchdown. Return from 36 on the pick six. Here he is. He comes here and he's going to end up getting pressure. That inside move. Good quickness. On Garrett Schrader's arm, I believe he hits his elbow. And by doing that, the ball is behind. And because the ball is behind, it leads to a huge play for the Wake defense. And it doesn't really matter if you're going to score over 30. Schrader wants to throw. He's got to get free. Slips a couple tackles. 
Nice play to get that one to his tight end. Gadsden will pick up the first down. That's what happens when you've been outside doing TV all right. day. Kelsey has, that's for sure. Cooper with the catch, staying on his feet and picking up a first down. I appreciate you guys. Having good crews around you makes it really, really easy. That's going to be on target for the back. Allen, Allen takes a hit, staying in. And did he stay in? That's the question. Or did he step out? They're going to say touchdown from 41 yards. Syracuse with a score. And I, I thought he was almost, because he kind of stumbles as he turns around, was going to end up out of bounds, but stays in bounds and then through contact here. I didn't see him step out at all. There's the hit. Oh, yeah. He stayed in. You know, A.J. Williams... Get back on the board, and they can climb back in the contest. They have time to do it. 45-27. And adding on 45-28. to 28. Coming into the game with eight, but, you know, just a matter of time probably before Perry, who's adding to that total. Perry with another catch on the throw from Hartman. Wilson shoves him out. He'll gain nine. Looking for another first. And on the move, he's going to pick that up. Just wish everybody there the best. As Hartman has some pressure, he's going to overshoot everybody as he took a hit. Wanted Williams. There is a flag. Adding to the amazing production he's had in his career. Could wind up involved in more touchdowns than any quarterback in ACC history. Uh, he said something to us yesterday that stuck out to me about the program being transformational, not transactional. And I think in this time of, of transfer portal. Oh, Tucker gets free across the 20 and eventually taken out. Then that can happen. And, and they've done a good job of that. Trader's going to keep heading for the end zone. And he's in for the touchdown from eight yards out. So Syracuse strikes again with a little over five minutes to go tonight with those legs than a week ago. It's a zone read, and Williams just come. Although at the extra point, they'll be just within 10, and Schmidt will nail that. Turner to get the carry. Gets a nice opening there. Busting ahead, and he's going to pick up a first down. Would have put him in a three-piece suit. Okay. With uh, shiny shoes. That makes sense. We took some artistic license there. He's going to keep and take a pretty good hit as he was smacked down. He did and certainly made the most of it. And then before this season got underway, the blood clot, as you mentioned, threatening maybe to end it all for him. Paint it. Look at that right sideline. Trying to cut back in, shucks a tackler. Outstanding return there by Trevor Pena. I, I just do think there are guys that can play the position, get a chance to play the position, and Sam will get that chance. Yeah, and he's a guy who knows how to win. He wins a lot of football games, another one incomplete. You know, he's had that opportunity. Schrader put another one in the air if he can. He's going to have to run it. Flings that one and complete. Caught by Ronda Gadsden, who's been fairly quiet in this game. This is from 34. And he is going to miss fire on that one. And Wake Forest by Sam Hartman, A.T. Perry and company will march off the field on senior night with a really nice win, 45-35 over the Orange of Syracuse.